Okay, in uh, this lesson today, I'm going to teach you about standard form. If you can write an equation in the form of ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are integers, okay? Um, it also say a needs to be positive, but I'm actually not going to deal with that here, okay? Just as long as a, b, and c are integers. So this is a number, this is a number, and this is a number. For example, uh, 3x plus 2y equals 7. That's in standard form. The x and the y are on the same side, okay? And um, they all need to be whole numbers. So remember, if you know you have a decimal there, you can multiply by 10. If you have a fraction, multiply by the denominator. There's ways to get rid of the, the fraction part of the answers, okay? Um, what we're going to do here, um, this is a lesson that I don't think is pivotal. So if, if, uh, if this is one that you were absent for or whatever else, it's not the worst lesson in the world to be absent for. Um, but this is a good practice lesson because it's going to take you through the entire cycle of the three forms. And we do have three forms that we've learned so far. We've learned the slope-intercept form, okay, which is the y equals mx plus v form. We have the point-slope form, which is the y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And then we have the new one called standard form. So this is a good lesson because it kind of brings it all together, writing it all the same, okay? So here are the steps. You always need to find the slope. Then you need to put that into the point-slope formula. Then you need to turn it into y equals mx plus b. And then you need to write it in standard form. Okay, so let's just try that. That seems like a lot, but it's actually quite easy. There's really nothing new here. All right, step one, find the slope, all right? I guess, well, how did I label this? A, so step A, find the slope. Well, the slope is y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2, right? Really bad writing there. All right, so what do we get? y1 is 1, so 1 minusing a negative 2, which means plus 2, over 1 minus 2, right? How did they get that? Remember, this is x1, this is y1, this is x2, this is y2. And I just plugged in the numbers. So what I get? 1 plus 2 is 3, and 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So the slope of this line is negative 3. So there's my first part, slope, negative 3. Step two, uh, letter B, right? That shouldn't be an equal sign. That should just be a comma. Uh, letter B. Write this in y equals mx plus b, or point slope form. So we're going to do y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And on your homework tonight, I want you to always use the first point, okay? So whatever first point is, use the first point. You could actually use either point, and we did that before. You can use either point, and it's going to work. But so that we all have the same work, go ahead and use the first point, okay? So y minus 1 is equal to negative 3 times x minus 1. There's point slope, right? Point slope form is right there. Letter C, rewrite that into y equals mx plus b form, slope intercept form. So remember what we're trying to do. We're trying to make it look like this, y equals mx plus b. So what I need to do? Well, I need to bring the 3 over. So I'm going to have, or distribute the 3, not bring the 3 over. Distribute the negative 3. I end up with negative 3x plus 3. Bring the 1 over, plus 1 plus 1. And I get y equals negative 3x plus 4. So there's my, th there's my th uh, second form, right? There's my point slope form. There's my slope intercept form. And then my last one, letter D, is to turn that into standard form. Now, the only thing I need to do in standard form is this. I need to make sure a, b, and c are integers. And I need the a, the x, and the y on the same side. So it's really quite easy to do because once it's like this, all you have to do is add 3x to both sides, right? And then what do I want first? Well, I want the x before the y. So that's all I'm going to do. It's going to be what? 3x plus y equals 4. And there are my three forms. I've got point slope form. I've got slope intercept form, and then I've got standard form. All three right there. 
Okay, let's try another example. <clears throat> so we got one more example here, right? So for step one, letter A, find the slope. Y1 minus Y2, we've done this about 8 million times now, so you should be pretty good at it, equals over X1 minus X2, right? Sorry, my pen's too thick. So that's going to be what? Well, this is X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Okay? Fill in the blanks. We get what? Negative 2 minus 4 over 3 minus 9. Negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. 3 minus 9 is negative 6. And that makes 1. So my slope is 1. A little bit easier, right? Letter B. Put that into point slope. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. Okay, so what do we get here? Well, if I plug in the blanks, uh, Y1 is what? Negative 2. So minusing a negative 2 is plus 2. And the slope is 1. And this is x. x1 is 3, so it's minus 3, right? There's my second form, point slope. Third form, uh, sorry, sorry, first form, point slope. Second form, distribute the 1 and bring the 2 over. So if I distribute the 1, I'm going to get what? x minus 3. I get y plus 2 is equal to x minus three minus 3. Then subtract 2 from both sides or add a negative 2 to both sides and I end up with y equals x minus 5. There's my second form. And then my third form, all I need to do is bring my x over. So I'm going to rewrite it here. Sorry about that bad handwriting. Um, bring the x over by subtracting x from both sides. And I'm left with negative x plus y equals 5. And there's my third form. So let's go ahead and circle these. I have point slope right here. I've got slope intercept right here. And the new one, standard form, right here. And there you have it. That's, that's this lesson. Real easy. Nothing really new here. Uh, standard form is kind of nice. Remember what we when we did a lesson early in the year on standard form, uh, when things are where the x and the y are on the same side, you can graph really quickly, and that's why it's kind of nice to be able to write things in standard form. But it's a really easy lesson, and you shouldn't have problems with this if you've been paying attention all along. All right, good luck.